Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in the past few days I was getting a lot of requests from you regarding this GSI form. You were having a lot of trouble in filling the form. You were having a lot of confusions while filling the form. So I thought to make a process or basically a video in which I'll explain you complete process like step by step guide to fill this geochemist form. Okay, so this is the website on which you have to go to fill the form. I'll be giving this link uh, of this website in the description of this video. So do check that out. So in the description of the video, you will find the link. You just have to click over there and you will directly be redirected on this. Okay, I'll, I'll recommend you to fill this using your laptop or PC or your system. Don't fill it using your mobile phone and uh, try to use Google Chrome as your browser. Okay, that will be giving you the best experience of the website or you will be having all the options properly assigned over here, right? So this is the exam which you have GEOL is the examination code. It's a combined geoscientist preliminary examination. Uh, for the year 2021 and uh, this is the notice date and the last date of filling the exam, uh, filling the form is 27th of October 2020 up till 6 p.m. Okay, so first of all you have to go for this for the part one of registration. Okay, so first of all you have to go for part one registration. So just click on that and you will be redirected to this particular page. Now before going further, I would recommend you to watch my video. I'll be giving the link of that video just over here on the right side of your screen. On the top you can just click on that and watch the video where I have explained everything regarding the eligibility criteria regarding what are the things which you need in order to fill the form like what are the requirements and for whom this exam is actually about so every detail has been explained in that video so I would recommend you to watch that before filling the form okay now once you have read that uh, the same thing are written in the instruction panel over here on this particular screen so you just have to come down there are around 20 points in which all the details have been given in short so you can just read it out and yeah uh, you just have to click over here that yes you have read and understood all the details okay now you have to fill all your details this is the part one that is registration you have to fill all your basic details like your name your gender your dob your father's name mother's name uh, your uh, like community to which you belong so all these things you have to fill in this particular step now once you will be done with this particular step i'll tell you that what to do so quickly i'll fill the form and I'll show you that what you have to do for the further step and wherever necessary to give a particular detail about I will be ex explaining you that, that as well. So while filling form you have to be very careful that you don't have to put anything in before your name like Mr. Miss or anything. Uh, your name should be the same as it is mentioned in your 10th mark sheet. Just fill that name and then you have to be very careful while filling the name of your father and mother as well. Okay, So you have to fill all these detail based upon your 10th mark sheet that is based upon your uh, like the mark sheet of your C, uh, secondary school okay so just try to make this thing very sure that you are filling everything properly now while filling this particular part that is uh, your educational qualification you have to be very careful about okay you have to uh, fill the msc in chemistry or applied chemistry or analytical chemistry over here okay for all the chemistry students so either if you have a specialization in organic chemistry in your so specialization in organic chemistry means in the final year of your msc chemistry you have studied only organic chemistry or if you have a specialization in inorganic chemistry then also that means in the final year you have studied only inorganic chemistry in the masters okay but overall your course is msc chemistry so that's why it is okay those who have done msc in forensic science or msc in uh, like uh, forensic chemistry or something like that this is not for you so if you have done the uh, msc in chemistry or applied chemistry or analytical chemistry then you can go for this okay yeah so just uh, select that then you have to fill your address and like that your form will be done now once you are done with everything you have filled all the details in your uh, form in the first part of your form then go for continue and just click over here now you will be redirected to the next page where you have to claim age relaxation do you need any claim in age relaxation or not now uh, this is applicable for those who uh, are having certain relaxations which were given in the notice I have already discussed. So if you click yes, you will have certain options over here that if yes, the category code through which uh, you are getting that relaxation. Okay, So which category do you belong? Do you belong to some reserved category for that you are getting relaxation or do you belong to some government official or you have you are a government employee that's why you are asking for the age relaxation or you are a defense uh, like ex de defense uh, like uh, staff that's why you are asking for the uh, like for the relaxation so that also you have to specify in this step now if you are not willing to do that you can just simply with go with no and can continue for the next step now here you have to fill all this uh, photo identity card 
then you have to apply over here you can apply any of these identity card which are shown over here like your aadhar card driving license pan card passport photo id or voter id so it depends upon you that what you want to apply okay uh, then you have to just fill that number of that now once you are done with this particular thing that means you are done with your photo identity card and all you have to go for the next that is eligible category for the service completing for competing for okay so you have to tell that for which service you are actually trying to compete for whether you are going for a uh, chemist group a which is having 15 uh, like uh, post or 15 vacancies or you are going for for scientist b which has just three post okay both of them comes under different uh, like uh, ministries of government uh, so the first one that is group a comes under the ministry of water board sorry that comes under the ministry of mines and the scientist uh, b or the category b or the category 2 comes under your uh, ministry of your water bodies okay so ground water bodies so that's what it is so there is one more option that you can apply for both of them so it's better to apply for both of them in that case you will be competing for all 18 uh, overall post okay 15 plus 3 so just select for both chemist group a and uh, like scientist b all right now you have to apply the for the center okay center for the geo scientist stage 2 exam so which center you want to apply for so you just have to select the center over here and once you are done with all these details once you have filled all these details you can just go for the like you can just continue your form okay once you will be done with this uh, i am just going to blur all this slide but uh, yeah this is what you will be having all your information will be again uh, given to you all the informations will be again shown on your screen you just have to recheck them and you have to make sure that you are not making any mistake okay if you are making any mistake you just have to uh, like correct that out all right so i'll just uh, like so i will just confirm the random image which is given to me over here and i'll just refer like i'll just uh, agree for everything because i have checked that everything is fine okay if you in case you found anything wrong or you want to update it or you want to reset that so you can go for this update okay and in that case you can just fill the form again or whatever mistake you have done you can just uh, like rectify that mistake all right so in case you are you are okay with all the details which have been filled you can just go for i agree now once you click this one uh, like uh, i agree form here there will be a, a notice or a di dialog box which you will see that once you agree no changes will be permissible in part 1 so make sure whatever you have filled you are agreeing with that that every detail has been correct and you have just uh, like you have just already checked everything okay so make sure to double check all the things which you have done in the registration step all right so this is how you will have uh, successfully done your part one of registration now you have to fill the part 2 and for the part 1 you have to take uh, the registration code okay you have to just copy this registration id which you can see in the first line so that you have to actually copy and you have to keep it with you make sure that whenever you have filled if you will be filling the complete or the correct phone number and the email id so you will be getting a, a, a sms message on your mobile phone as well confirming that yes you have filled the part 1 of the form all right so i'll now go quickly for the part 2 filling of the form now in the same page at the bottom side you will be having this that you can click for the part 2 registration just go for that click over here and you will be taken to the page where you can uh, like you can fill the second part of the form you have to fill your registration number here date of birth and you have to fill the captcha code and then you can uh, continue filling the second part of the form so i'll just quickly do that and let you know now the second step is to pay okay you have to pay the fee so if you are under the fee relaxation category that means if you belong to female candidate or if you belong to certain category which uh, like uh, which does not have to pay the fees like if you belong to sc or st category then there is zero fees for you for filling the form so in that case this payment page uh, might be different for you but uh, for those who belong to the general category and they are boys uh, and those who belongs to the obc category and if they are boys so for them they have to pay the fee okay so yeah so you just have to pay, pay your fees completely in this particular step you can pay it through all these steps you can pay it through the sbi branch so the first uh, like method is through the sbi branch in that case will be have you your payment slip will be generated over here you have to take that payment slip you have to take the print out of that take it to the nearest sbi branch and get it uh, like filled over there it will take around 24 hours for that to get updated on the website all right so that's the one one of the method fastest method is to pay by net banking or pay by card so i'll show you uh, by pay, uh, filling it through net banking so i'll not show the complete process 
but once I'll be done I'll be come like I'll redirect you to back to this particular page and show you the further process of filling the form all right so once you will be done with your payment process once the payment is completely done uh, you will be given a, a page like this where it will be written that the transaction status is successful okay and then you have to uh, just go for the next process in order to complete the form so once you will be clicking uh, continue you have to again uh, re log into that using your registration number your uh, like date of birth so these two things will help you to again uh, like login inside it for the next part of filling all right so now you can see that the payment has been done uh, the link for the payment will glow in the green color and it will be written that the payment is successful and the amount of the fees will also be written over it uh, don't worry there is no hidden charges i have paid through the uh, the internet banking and there was zero charges for that i don't know whether there are charges for uh, cards or not okay if you pay through the card or not so there are some other charges for that or not but yeah you can just continue for the next part of form filling so once you go for uh, the next uh, like uh, if you just go for the next thing you have to upload your uh, scanned photograph you have to upload your scanned signature and you have to upload your identity card document which you have uh, given in the first page okay in the first page you have given that uh, you have applied a particular identity card whether pan card or aadhar card or any like uh, detailed like any photo id card right so that's that particular card you have to uh, like upload here as a scanned copy of that so these are the three documents which you need you don't need your uh, caste certificate you don't need your income certificate while filling the form okay so there was a uh, like uh, there was a confusion between the students that uh, uh, how to upload this uh, that certificate or something so you are not asked to do so okay so first thing is to upload your scanned photograph the instructions related to the photographs are here that the candidate should make this form in such a way that the photo should be less than 300 kb and sh it should be more than 20 kb so that's the size of your photograph which is needed so i'll quickly upload my photograph my signature for signature also same thing is there not less than 20 KB and not more than 300 KB and for your scanned photo identity document uh, the the requirement is uh, same it should not be less than 20 KB and more than 300 KB okay so and it it should be in the PDF format so that is that you have to be very careful about that your your uh, like document has to be or the identity proof or photo ID card has to be in the PDF and photo and your signature should be in JPG format all right so i'll quickly do that and let you know in the next process now uh, while uploading your photograph uh, and signature make one thing very sure that there is a certain guideline which is shown and that will be shown to you after uploading this photo and all the documents okay uh, it's a type of photos which will be acceptable and the type of photos which will not be acceptable so right now on the screen we have both the things acceptable and not acceptable types both types of your uh, photos and signature so make sure that you are filling the form with those types of photos which are ex in the acceptable form okay so the background restriction is not there but make sure that the photo is crisp it's not blurred out same goes for your signature signature should be crisp and it should not be in a blurry form okay so that's what is necessary all right so once you are done with it uh, you will be taken like you have to click on continue and you will be done for the next part all right so at the end of the form you have to fill your uh, photo id card number once again whatever photo id card you have given in the starting so uh, like you can you might have given aadhar card so there it will be flashing you to show or to write down your aadhar card number once again and the examination center so these two things are the last step which you have to do and you have to read the declaration and you have to just click on the yes you agree for that okay you have read the declaration and you agree and you will be done with your form okay so that's uh, these are the last things which you have to do so let me quickly finish this up and show you fine so now uh, while after filling everything uh, you can see all those parts like part one registration your payment your photo sign and photo identity upload and your center selection and agreeing the declaration all the four parts are now glowing in a green color that means the form filling process has been done for your pro, uh, like for your safety or for your use you can view and print your application and keep it your, as a saved copy as a soft copy with you for the further in case if you miss or in case if you uh, forget your registration id so just keep these things with you 
all right so this is the complete process of filling the form it's not at all difficult it's a very simple process you have to be little careful while filling few of the states or few of the points of the form and i hope that this video helped you and if you were having any problem while filling the form this is this video has cleared that up so that's all from my side guys thank you so much for watching this particular video and uh, if you like this video or if this video helped you in filling the form just drop a like and uh, if you have any questions you can ask that in the comment sections below thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye bye